Hello, friends. So I don't usually do an online summer solstice um, ritual because we do one in person. I have a women in the woods retreat that we do every solstice um, in New Mexico. And that's um, my summer solstice offering. But I thought I would just give you a little bit, a little tiny ritual that you can do at home on your own for summer solstice. Um, and I'm gonna try to keep it brief. I'm not very good at keeping it brief, but I'm gonna try. So what we need for this is a pen and paper or pencil and paper to write something down. And then what I call a threshold marker, it's just um, something that indicates that you're moving into a ritual space to start. So find those, gather that up, pause the video if you need to. Um, the other thing you might need, the other thing you do need is a fire, like a candle, and a bowl to burn something in, some, a small piece of paper in. So you can see where I'm going with this. Okay, so gather up the materials you need. Summer solstice rituals, usually fire is involved. Um, fire, like the big sun that we're celebrating, the longest day of the year. This is a lot of big energy, masculine energy, not in as not as in the gender, but as in yang energy. It's about taking action, feeling bold, strong, abundant, um, all those things that are important to balance out the yin energy of you know being relaxed and heart centered and um, intuitive. All right, so calling in the solar energy, uh, we'll start with a threshold marker. So my threshold marker happens to be a candle, which is very convenient for me since a candle is needed for this ritual. It can be a bell, it can be um, a scarf you put on for ritual practice, it could be lighting incense or um, something like that. So when I light this particular candle, this is my special ceremonial candle, it indicates to my subconscious in a Pavlovian manner that I'm going into a ritual space. Okay. All right. Let's just start by calling in all of our spirit helpers our spirit guides and ancestors and angels, just calling them into the ritual space. Spirits of the land, the land ancestors, the nature beings in the physical or spiritual realm, as well as calling in the elements as is customary in witchcraft of earth, air, fire, and water. We'll just begin by taking some deep breaths, finding yourself here in the ritual space, arriving fully, breathing deeply into your belly, exhaling. Let's breathe in even deeper now. Maybe exhaling out your mouth. Just releasing any tension. Inhale even deeper. Take it slow. Take your time. Exhale slowly. With this exhale, allow yourself to be fully present in the ritual space. We're going to bring our awareness down to our solar plexus. Our Solar plexus chakra is above the navel. And I'm going to ask you to tune in to something that scares the shit out of you. Okay? This could be on any level. It could be like just a neurosis you've had since child. It could be something physical, something spiritual, an action, a person anything that really scares you, tuning into your solar plexus, breathe into it and find that fear. Find that thing that really scares you. 
and you're going to know you found it when you feel your solar plexus feels uh, maybe anxious, maybe fiery, congested. And just allow it to be there. Bring it in. Surrender to the fear. Name it. What is it? Breathing into your solar plexus, breathing into the sensations of fear. Go a little bit deeper. What is it really that you're afraid of? And I'm going to have you go just a little bit deeper. Take it in and take it down. Take it in. Go inward. What is it that's at the core of this fear? Okay, you got it. All right, we're gonna take our pen and paper. And I want you to write that fear down on the piece of paper as succinctly as you can. It could be one word, um, just a few lines, a few sentences. Got it? Okay. So you probably know paper burns best when you kind of crumple it into a ball. But maybe for our safety's sake, we um, keep it big so that we can burn the tip and then release it into our fire safe bowl. Okay, as you're ready, light that on fire. Burn it away, baby. Burn, baby, burn. Solstice Inferno, burn, baby, burn. It's a Solstice Inferno. All right, letting it burn. It's getting smoky. Fire alarms are going off. We're burning it away, letting it go. We're done with that fear. Set that intention. I'm letting it go. I'm letting go of that fear. That fear no longer controls me. That fear no longer has any control over me. I have witnessed it. I have felt it. I have surrendered to it. And now I am letting it go completely. Watching it burn. I want more fire. Yeah! Burn, baby, burn. So just it burn out. Okay. All right. Close your eyes again. We're going to call down just some cosmic waterfall. So just connecting, perceiving, sensing above you is a beautiful star. It's so silvery and bright. And it's just shining down on you, a waterfall of light. Maybe it's liquid light, silvery liquid light shining down on you. And just let it cleanse you, coming down through your head, over your head, over your shoulders, down through your body. And feel it cooling and cleansing your solar plexus, just sweeping away anything that no longer serves you all the way down washing it out your legs 
out your root, out your feet, into the earth where it can be recycled. Just allow that silvery liquid stream of cosmic light to clear you out. Still smoky here, feeling like when that smoke's done burning that I'll feel clean, cleansed, I'll be able to be fully cleansed. Now I'm going to have you bring your awareness into your heart space, your heart center, the center of your chest, and just breathing into your heart. Feel it opening with the awareness, with the attention. Inhaling into your heart space, exhaling out. Giving yourself some love. Maybe even telling yourself, I love you. Giving yourself a little more love, breathing into your heart. And with your eyes closed now, imagine your heart space beaming a picture in front of you. Bring your awareness to this picture screen in front of you and in this picture screen is you and you are confronting your fear. Either you are in relationship with your fear, enacting that thing which you are afraid of, or enacting yourself overcoming that fear. Okay, so we're confronting it and overcoming it. This is an image of you without the fear, basically. Find yourself on the screen, confronting your fear. This is you without that fear. What do you look like? What are you doing? What's different about you? What's changed? Something's different. Is it an attitude, an expression, something about the way you carry yourself? Something's changed. What is it? Feel into it. Feel it in your heart. Feel that sensation of what it feels like to no longer have that fear in your life anymore because you're brave and courageous. Now we're going to bring in the golden light of the sun, that big solstice sun shining down into our heart. It's golden energy and it's just solidifying this feeling. It's just bringing it deep into our body. We're completely embodying this feeling of just having overcome our fear and being totally shifted and changed in some wonderful peculiar way because of it. Let that big sunlight in. Feel that energy. Feel how strong you are, how brave you are. Feel how you can do anything. Full of love, full of grace, big sun energy, lots of love. And I invite you now to sit with this feeling as long as you want to, as long as it feels good to. I also invite you to get up and dance around, maybe put on a song that's really uplifting for you um, from one of my summer, uh, summer playlist songs. 
and dance around, really feel into it, just love up on this good energy feeling. And when you're done, you can come back and close out your threshold marker. And that's it. That's our mini summer solstice ceremony for 2024. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a blessed summer.